So welcome back. So let me just try and show you this uh, before I, I remove it again. So let's say now we have our person list manager here and that's fine. Let's uh, try and use it somewhere in the code just to show you. So what it means is now it knows there's a read, a delete, let me zoom. All these functions are available. We can read, we can delete, we can create and we can update and we can even do two different types of read. Perfect. I can use that. Let's do a read here. Let's, uh, let's do the read. There we go. And let's uh, just keep that there for now. So the reason I'm up and running here and that's fine. But now, now is the time for me to switch the person list manager out with an actual real manager, which is going to be uh, the manager to actually create things in a database instead. So I'm going to make a new manager here. Don't worry. This is just to show. We'll, we'll go slow later. So I call a person database manager. This is going to be the guy that's going to, in the future, store stuff in the database. Now he's also going to be an iManager, right? And he's also going to be a type of person. So this is just another implementation of the actual same thing. But think of this guy as he would be the guy who would store things in a database instead of inside a stupid list. And so now we have the exact same implementation using the same interface. So when I went here to the employee controller, I would have to change that now. So I would have to manually, sorry, the person controller, I would have to now manually go in and override this class right here. Because now I wanted to, instead of using the person list manager, I would have to change it to the person DB manager. Now, why is that a problem, Lars? Why? Why? Well, it kind of isn't, but still it is. Because it would mean I would have to recompile, redeploy the person web application. Uh, maybe I would have to do that anyway, but it would mean I have any any place in the code where you use the person list manager, you would have to recompile and redeploy and pfft, there's a lot of code that I had to change probably, right? So let's not do that. Let's instead make a facade and that's what we're going to do for this lesson. So let me just delete this guy again, the DB manager. You'll, you'll come back later, my friend. Trust me, we will need you later <laughs> if you get that one. And uh, let's instead here go and remove the public here again because I do not want this to be available from the outside like I just said. But what I want available from the outside is a facade. So what we're going to build instead is a new class here. So I'll make a new class again. And this will be our data logic layer facade. DLL facade. A facade, think of it, if, if this was a building, right? If this was a building for a hotel, the way you would enter the hotel was be, would be through the facade of the building. So you'd go in through the hotel and you'd see all the beautiful rooms and everything, but it would start walking in through the facade and you would leave the building again outside the facade. So the facade is an entry point to this specific project, right? So the DLL facade is going to be our entry point. Let's uh, say add here, and it's just going to be a public class. And we'll also just add the first access point through our facade being an iManager, of the type person, and we want to be able to get that. So it's going to be um, a public method, and it's going to say get person manager. Notice I'm not specifying that I'm getting the person list manager. No, 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 because it might not be a list manager later on, and it won't be. Later on, it'll be a database manager, but it's still a person manager which uses this, this interface right here with this specific type. So now we start making things a little interesting. So what I want to return right now is going to be the uh, a new person list manager, right? There we go. Now notice, let's go back to the other piece of code again up here. Remember last time, if I went to the person control and I changed it, I would have to then change this as well. Now what we do is we say, I'm going to end up with some kind of eye manager so it's going to be my person manager. And instead of actually pulling out the person manager like I'm doing here, I'm going to say new data logic layer facade, DLL facade dot. And then on that guy, I'm going to get the person manager. Now notice, we don't know what the person manager is. We don't care what the person manager is. I'm the UI, I'm, I'm inside the person controller in the UI here, right? I'm inside this guy and I don't want to know how you actually pull the data out. I just want to know that you sent me some kind of eye manager with the type of person and then you can decide how you want to send him, what you want to send. That's up to you. So in the same case as before, if I wanted to do the exact same thing, let's just make a new manager again here. Add new item, new class here. Let's call the person manager, person DB manager, person DB manager. Doesn't matter with the naming. Let's just add here um, 
call it an I manager again and let's add the list of person. Now you've seen this a few times so now you know how to do it. And then let's just implement all the missing members. We can just press the lamp and implement them and save this guy. Finish. Now he has the, all the implementation here. Now if I wanted to change this guy now, I wouldn't have to change anything in the UI because the UI would still just call in the person controller. We just call DLL facade get person manager. We don't know what the person manager is. Now the DLL facade, however, can go in here and say, instead of returning a list manager, why don't you return a person DB manager? Which should say person DB manager, doesn't matter. But from the point of view of the presentation layer, I don't know that and I don't care. You just tell me how you want to store your data by doing, by telling me you have an I manager, which over, which holds the contract and uses the contract that we agreed upon, which is the I manager of the type person. Next lesson, we'll try to start um, creating the remaining of our person manager for the list. See you next time.